Let's talk about your weather now. And yes, you've heard the word snow tonight, but Scott Paget, the chief, let's bring you in. Big difference tonight between hearing the word and then actually seeing any of it. And it depended on where you lived. And just west of North Texas, west of Wichita Falls, really picking up some accumulation. Now, tonight, looking at the uh, radar with us, the first alert radar showing some light rain trying to fall in parts of the Metroplex, but really dry air is in place. But I want to zoom in just a little bit. You can see where it's the blue color, then the pink color, and then you see the yellows and the orange color. Come back. That's some sleet. So when you look at the first alert radar with me in this winter mode, that's what you need to look for a sleet profile. And this is the sleet near Bowie from our CBS 11 storm chaser Jason McLaughlin there. So that's some ground truth to what we're seeing on the radar right now as this is drifting its way into parts of North Texas. So just keep that in mind. I don't expect any major impacts, but we are continuing to see a lot of this moisture making its way from west to east and now reaching the ground. So Cook County stretching over to near the Sherman area, even getting some reports of some flurries near Denison. Uh, just keep that in mind. We haven't really seen any reports in the Denton area, north sides of the Metroplex of really any rain reaching the ground. Uh, we did see a couple of flurries being reported down near Weatherford, but you notice that a lot of the activity started to taper off just a bit. As we take a look at the uh, radar estimated snowfall west of Electro, near about two inches of snow, we get some official reports coming out tomorrow, but uh, this upper level energy is continuing to shift east. So what am I thinking? From a line near Bowie down to near Eastland County, northwest of that, light dusting to maybe less than a half of an inch of accumulation. Uh, further northwest of that near Electro, of course, near two inches. Overnight on, near our Red River County, so we're going to see that rain and snow mix. No impacts expected at all. And you see that on the future cast. See how the activity really starts to taper off as that upper level energy continues to shift its way to the east. And then we're left with the cloud cover overnight and the cold air also settling in for your Thursday morning. So our temperatures right now are at 37 in Bowie, but the freezing mark in Graham, we're in the low to the mid 40s across the Metroplex and a lot of North Texas as we zoom our way on in, low to the mid 40s to even the upper 30s indicator. Cold enough that you do need the coat, and cold enough parents for tomorrow morning. The kids definitely need that sweatshirt again. They might forget it after school because temperatures will be warm enough that you could probably shed the sweatshirt. We're seeing 37 at DFW by tomorrow morning to 33 in McKinney. And then the three day forecast shows 55 tomorrow. A dry front moves through Thursday night. Friday brings us lots of sunshine, 53. Saturday, 66. So that's a sneak peek of the beginning of the weekend. And look at how we round out the weekend 67 degrees, sunny sky. Skies to mostly sunny skies. Enjoy that. We have much needed rain back into the forecast Monday into Monday night. That shifts its way to the east. And long range forecast models now are showing some precipitation here Tuesday night, then into Wednesday rain. But then you notice possibly Wednesday afternoon that's switching over to maybe some sleet or snow. There's a lot of time between now and then that forecast will change. But you can see we're mild for us going through next Tuesday. And then we cool down to the mid 50s on Wednesday. Well, it's a home run weekend, though. Thank you, sir.